Good morning, folks. Starting by revisiting the Australian bushfires. State of emergency is declared in New South Wales. Sydney continues to remain in the firing line, and two massive sections of this fire are expected to try to merge in the coming days. Coming now to brucegary.net slash ison, there has been speculation that the observed forward-facing jet was not real. The speculation came from the folks at Hubble the day after this crew suggested that a potential outburst from the same may be indicated by a brightening of the coma to come in the next few days. Well, that's precisely what we got, and that's what you see here on Gary's RC band magnitude. We are above the brightness prediction lines for the first time in a while. Last article is a great one for perspective. Macro level analyses of global moisture patterns, especially as they differ from northern to southern hemisphere. Got twins in the western Pacific. Both are going to be powerful events, and as of now, tracks show northward movement to both cells. South of that, New Zealand is still getting the funneled moisture off that Australian high. And while the leading front pushes through Europe, the next is now cresting España y Portugal. The Americas have powerful Hurricane Raymond off the coast of Mexico. Despite his likely course out to sea, he's already affecting coastlines and the lows encroaching the United States down from Canada are cannibalizing this storm, ripping the moisture across Mexico and over the Gulf states. The lows driving in behind them are pushing that colder temperature down across the border. Solar flares still around the low sea range. The left half here is the incoming half and some of these groups do appear to have significant umbral size and magnetic complexity with both positive and negative blue and red, as actual sunspot umbras within close proximity and preferably for large flares within the same penumbra. We're just not getting the large flares. Solar wind telemetry from the ACE satellite shows calm while we await another coronal hole stream. Perhaps it will be complemented in a few days with minor interplanetary shocks. The surface events you see here are not major eruptions by any stretch of the imagination, but ejecta was certainly produced from Earth-facing positions on relatively low latitudes. Stereo A is showing that at least some plasmas got a good chance to nudge our magnetic shield. Enlil Spiral from NASA is updated to show one of the CMEs as well. Not sure it's the same one I just showed, but they predict a small to moderately powerful CME that will either miss Earth or give a glancing blow on Wednesday. Coronal and umbral magnetic fields here atop departing red negative coronal holes with incoming green positive ones. The fields are semi-blocking the Earth-facing magnetism. The coronal hole power is going hard right now, but that's confined to those departing red openings. The incomer we just saw in green before is lacking major power at this time. Mercury still conjoining Saturn and darn close to the Sun as well. We do see global upticks, potential foreshock signals, and some unusual location rumbles. But we wait for another significant big one. Sun is pop lock and dropping, but that was all practice. The space weather concerns are about to be earth facing. Two fairly massive plasma filaments in those potentially developing delta spots. Eyes open. No fear at 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.